Yeah. Lord, y'all. Everybody, welcome to the new ministry, Courageous and Blessed Ministry Church here on Rec Room. It's great to be here. Great to have y'all here tonight with us. So, we're just going to get started off with opening up in a prayer, y'all. So, at this time, can everyone bow their heads as we go to the Lord in prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. We thank you for all your many blessings. We ask you that you would bless this time of fellowship and a hearing that I will our God. Just bless this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, yeah. You're Rem Dog. Yeah, that's right. Well, yeah, we're going to start off with the announcements. I'm going to let Death Razor come on. Here, so give Death Razor a God bless. Oh, if he comes to share the announcement. Alright, y'all, what's going on? Uh, someone's in the way. Jared, you're kind of in the way there. Can you move back just a little bit? Thank you. This is just for right now, so... Anyway, I'm Co-Pastor Deathraiser here at our beautiful church that we're opening, and I mainly do the video recording and video submissions here, but I also am helping promote these kind of things, as you guys all know from my many videos I've done throughout the YouTube world. And I just want to say how nice it is tonight to see all y'all coming in here and, you know, being with us, preaching with us, and just blessing our time. For example, we got him over here. We got Travis over here next to the buttons. You can't really see him because he's over there, but he's actually one of our new members who is just getting his, you know, feet in the sand. The sand that God's trail has, and we're going to hopefully bless him tonight and keep him going further with his journey. So, we'll get started here. We don't got many other announcements other than that we just got our YouTube channel started for this. So that's on our wall when you come in and read text. And I also own that with Michael being main moderator. So, uh, stay tuned for that. And if you can't make it, you can watch on online at any time. Alright, Michael, you can take it away. There you go. I'm going to go up here now. There you go. Well, praise all over you all. Thank you, Death Razor, for going over the announcements. Um, I think he's here. There he is in the back over uh, on the right side, bro. That to happen, guys. So, like I was about to say before, uh, brother... With us. He's representing, uh, Met, uh, correct me if I say it wrong, brother, uh, the Meta Soccer Church here in Rec Room. And I'm telling y'all, went to the event last night they had. What a great uh, service that was. The God in that service. So, uh, there, God just moved in, uh, what's her name? Uh, Kick. But, brother, it was. It's good to have you here tonight. Um, so, also, we're going to talk tonight about who we are. What is Courageous and Blessed Ministry Church here on Rec Room? So, first, I'm going to let Death Razor come back up here and share his testimony. And what he feels about this ministry, how we got our name and everything. So, Death Razor, come on back up here, brother. All right. Speak here. Sure. This back on the stage. Oh, give me there one second. Go. Just gotta. There you go. Just gotta get the right grip. So, um, so how I did my ministry or my mm -hmm. first sharing of my testimony was actually at another church. So I'm gonna do it just the same way. It's the same story, really. So when I was born, my family side that I was with, they were very Christian. They didn't have a specific denomination, but. They were in the religion a lot, got the baptization like any other young child would. You know, had church a couple years, then we left and uh, moved to another place, didn't go to church for a long time, and then it kind of lost that connection. Then the spark came back, and the reason why is because I had the inner voice 
And when Rec Room came to me and I was like, well, I need something. I need something to do. And I saw this one church uh, named New Reality Fellowship. And uh, I was like, oh, this is pretty neat. So I came and came and just kept going to all the events. And it was so cool. And it was such a neat concept. Because it's like you're literally taking the concept of basic church meetings and services and taking them all throughout the internet. Mm -hmm. Top of that, it's, uh, to me, whoops, hang on. To me, God is like an inner voice. He's got that, like, inner spark in you, like an inner conscience who always sits there with you, makes you choose the right decision, the right path, makes you not think of, hey, do the bad thing. No, he always pushes you away from that. Because to me, he's always your conscience. Just always there. Always listening. You know? Passage. Because if it's one of those boring ass churches where they just don't talk to you. Is there anybody just joining? Welcome to the service. Come on in. Take a seat. Yo, let's go, bro. Is it any old way you Yo, like? Our main pastor will be back momentarily once this game decides Yo, to stabilize. Send it to me, quiet kid. <clears throat> That's pretty much it. Yo, wait, can everybody hear us? Uh, yeah. There's nothing I can do about that yet. I'm still trying to fix that. Nice, nice. Because we are just starting out in here. So. Yeah, that's cool. Question, uh, do y'all sing the American flag and like the Christian flag? The American flag? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, ben, I'm can you take a yo, seat, please? Y'all yeah. look pretty jerky, bro. Yo, this is me and my- Thanks. Oh, there you go. Okay. Um, now that I did mine... Oof. I don't know what Michael had next for it, because he didn't really give me a script. We don't usually go off a script. We do have someone new here I do want to highlight, as I said earlier. Mm -hmm. Someone who's just experiencing this religion as a whole. Travis, you want to say anything? Travis? No? Maybe? Okay. And of course, you may be thinking, what's a guy like me moderating this thing? And it's like, well, if you must know, I haven't been in just New Reality. I've been in plenty of other churches, too. I've actually gotten volunteership over at VRMMO, which is one of the bigger ones, and uh, they're pretty cool. Oh, wait, yeah, right. Sorry about that. Never mind. Okay, Michael, are you there? Oh. Uh, here. here. Uh, it flung over there. Maybe try standing next to your router. It might keep your internet stable. Oh, yeah. I'll have to fix that later when we get to the prayer time. Unless there's something else I can. Okay. I'm just going to pause the recording for right now. I'm a normal Michael player. is a mobile player, as I've said, yeah. so he doesn't have so the greatest I'm connection. Yeah, I'm like so. Okay, there we go. Uh, so. so sorry for the crashes, everybody, so I think I've fixed it. But welcome, y'all. So, so good to have y'all here. Uh huh? Uh, oh, hey. Can you have, can you have a seat? Uh, so, the thing I was going to share before I crashed was here's, here, brother TKO here tonight. Um, he, like, I, like, he attends to hear our reference, and I'm telling you what a great move of God it was last night. It real great. Um, so, the verse that that stuck to us, like, first, what is courageous and blessed? He's here on record. So where did we get our name? Uh, so I well, actually came up with the name. I, 
So, uh, I told, uh, Death Razor about the name Courageous and Blessed Ministries. He's like, okay, not a bad idea. So, so I'm going to share how I got the name. And it starts off in Deru Deuteronomy. I almost said Deuteronomy. But I meant to say Deuteronomy. Uh, chapter 31, verse 6. So, and it says there, Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. Uh, for Lord, thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will never fail thee, nor forsake thee. I'm thankful for that verse, that there has never been a time, and I'm about to grab the mic here. <laughs> um, there has never been a time God has never failed us. Uh, He's never left us. He has never forsaken us. But he has been with us throughout the entire way. Uh, like, personally for me, like, I'm going to share my testimony uh, real fast. Um, so when I was young, uh, right after I was born, the doctors told me that I was not going to be right. Like, you know, autism. And for some of y'all that don't know, like, the way how I put it was, like, just not right. But, you know, God gave me a miracle. He, God used my former pastor. He he passed away back in June, and I was thinking more about it. And God, He has blessed me. He's gave me life, and praise the Lord. And God can move in your situation, no matter where you have been, no matter how far you've been. I will remember how the people, like you know, He healed the one with the issue of blood. He'll that were suffering from diseases, from uh, sickness. And I'm going to be honest with you, Death Razor. God can give you a miracle from it. Uh, Jesse, De um, what's what's their name again? Uh, what's your name again? I'm sorry <laughs> if I said your name wrong. Uh, but God can give you a miracle. Oh, well, so God can give you But God can. God still works miracles. And it's like. They're the Son, the Holy Spirit. God's three in one. And I hope that y'all have learned about Jesus Christ and you have learned that he's, He can give you the strength, courage, and He's not going to leave you, neither will He forsake you. So, now we're going to go to uh, the book of Matthew. Uh, okay, let me get there first uh, by my place where I left off. <laughs> you see, even sometimes us ministers have problems uh, trying to keep up with our stuff, uh, like where we go to. Uh, but, here we go. Um, let me find it for a second to... Okay, starting in verse 3, I'm going to go through verse 11. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. For they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely uh, for my sake. Stuff in meditating, but you know, as I go through that, I go back to, for example, uh, verse 3 poor in spirit. To, so, you know. The word blessed refers to the well-being of those who, because of their relationship to Christ and his word, receive God's kingdom, which include his love, care, salvation, and daily presence. There are certain requirements if we would 
receive the blessings of God's kingdom, we must be guided by the way and value of uh, God uh, revealed in Scripture and not by the ways and uh, values of the world. The first requirement is to be poor in spirit. We must recognize that we are not spiritually self sufficient. We need the Holy Spirit's life power and sustaining great order to inherit the kingdom of God. Verse 4 uh, They that mourn, mourn is to grieve over our own weakness and relate to God's uh, standards of righteousness, kingdom power. It is also to mourn over the things that grieve God to have our feelings and sin. Pathetic. Sorry if I'm saying these words wrong. I just tried to pull this off there. <laughs> but, we're going to leave off that. Uh, uh, with the feelings of God. And to be affected in our spirits. Versus the sin. Immortality and cruelty manifest in the world. So, look, stop right there for a second. This part. So, the reason I bring these verses is and going part by part. This is where God gave me the second part. Blessed. Gracious and blessed ministry. So, I'm going to continue going on about this here. But, you know, God, He has a purpose. Like, for example, back to here, you know, we were born into this world with sin nature. And, you know, God's going to punish that turn on him like that. We have all, uh, like, for all have sin and come short of the glory of God. If I'm correct, that is Romans 3.23. Of, you know, like, think about the first sin that was committed back in Genesis chapter 3. I think it's Genesis chapter 2. And you know, like, think about, like, sin into the world. <laughs> but we can have forgiveness thanks to Jesus and what he's did for us. So, those who are, are com comforted by receiving from the Father righteousness and peace and joy the Holy Spirit to the meat. The meek are those who are humble and submissive before God. They find their refuge in Him and commit their way entirely to Him. More concerned about to before God, you can say. They find their refuge in Him and commit it entirely to Him. Yo, the Bible ain't even open. Yo, this guy's a pro. Uh, keep please sit down, Mr. House. <laughs> What'd you say? Can you please sit down? Okay. You will. Who said I but yeah, sit down? Um, like I was saying though, like, you know, they find their refuge in God and commit their ways probably to Him. They're more concerned about God's work and God's people than about what might happen to them personally. The meek rather than the aggressive ultimately inherits the earth. And you know, back in uh, Matthew uh, 5 verse 6, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. This is one of the most important verses part of uh, the Sermon on the Mountain that is in Matthew. The chapter 5 through chapter uh, 7. But this is the important part here. The foundational requirements of all God's living is to hunger and thirst after righteousness. So, it's seen in Moses, which can be found in Exodus 33 and 13 and verse 18. Mr. House, uh, please click it down. Yeah, sorry about the wall. 
Uh, 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 but, like, I'm, like, it, the foundational requirement of all godly living is the hunger and thirst after righteousness. We've seen that in Moses in Exodus chapter 33, verse 13 and 18. The psalm, like, and then it was also the Apostle Paul, which can be found in Philippians 3.10. The spiritual condition of Christians throughout their living will depend on their hunger and thirst after righteousness. The merciful, which can be found in uh, Matthew uh, 5. The merciful are full of compassion and pity towards those who are suffering either sin or sorrow. Well, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't know what y'all are going through at this time. I don't know what uh, anyone is. We all could be going hey. through something. Now. Question. Can you please sit down, sir? Hey, question. Okay, uh, I'll take questions after. I'll take questions after we're done. But personally, I'm thinking, like, you know, we all have sinned against God, but for Jesus, uh, which we can, uh, like, as Jesus died on the cross, he died for our sins. That way we can have life. The merciful sincerely wants to make such suffering less by bringing those people to the grace and help of God for Jesus Christ. Like, for example, you see somebody struggling or having a hard time, for example. What's the thing you want to do? You want to have mercy on them. Like, have compassion on them. But only, like, for example, like, you see, uh, like, for a, for example, a homeless person on the side of the road. Your heart goes out to them. You don't know if they're trying to trick you. You know, like, whatever it may be. And all you can do is pray, like, Lord, do you want me to help this person? But, yeah, like, thinking about, like, the reason I'm bringing these verses out tonight is because, like, they go hand in hand, and this is, so let's go back to this for a second, right? The poor in spirit was the part where we talked about the blessed referred to the well-being of those who, because of their relationship to the word. Number two, they that mourn, so those that, who are weak, they the third point the meek the, the earth which means the meek are those who are humble and submissive before God number four uh, hunger and thirst after righteousness this is one of the most important verses that was mentioned from the Sermon on the Mountain. The foundational requirement for all godly living is to hunger and thirst after righteousness. See, once you uh, get saved, once you get baptized in the Holy Ghost, you want more of God. Like, keep you please sit down if you don't and, uh, Lops, I don't know how to say your name. Can you sit down, please? But, you know, like, that's our fourth point. Number five. The merciful. The merciful are full of compassion and pity to those who are suffering from either sin or sorrow. Another way to put this is, like, you see somebody hurting. All you want to do is have compassion for them. You want to help them out. And you ask God, Lord, what, what can I do to help out? 
the reason I state these uh, six verses, like, and why these main points are because, like, here at Courageous and Blessed Ministry, we're, we're going to help y'all out. We want to bless you all. And, you know, personally, mm-hmm. it's got to start with, have you said yes to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Now, I'm not asking anyone to come, like, to say, hey, out loud, or anything. If you know what, what you've done wrong, and you know that you've sinned, I want you to pray this prayer with me. Repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I am a sinner. I believe that Jesus Christ came to die for me, and that he rose again on the third day. Now that I'm believing and trusting, I ask you to be the Lord and Savior of my life. Please, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. And if you repeat that prayer, you're welcome to God's family. You're, you're welcome to God's family. Jesus has, can bless you like now. And seek these things. Seek God, no matter where you are. Because, blessed, the mourn, the meek, those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, the merciful, those five go hand in hand together. And that's all I have for tonight. And before uh, I close in a prayer, I'm going to ask Death Razor if he wants to come up. Share anything, share any scripture, add anything, if he wants to. Oops, sorry. I didn't know if you heard me. There you go. There's not much I can really mention, though I will say another great book we should definitely study is definitely the Book of Mormon, because it's got such a good passage to it. What would you say, Michael? Should that be one of our topics we save for it? At some point, yeah. or I've been actually doing a study in the Book of Acts, but I guess I can do that on my own time. And uh, okay, so I guess so. Uh, we can do the Book of Romans uh, next week, if y'all are up for it. Too. Yeah, because I was debating doing that with my own little book club kind of group we have, but I'm still trying to get that fully set up yet. So we have that. Sure, no problem. Other than that, there's not much else going on. I mean, I have an aunt of mine who soon will be passing, but she'll still be blessed in the family life, since she's from my grandma's side, who has the most religious view anyway, so we have that, and that she will soon be blessed into the heavenly world of her afterlife, and that's all that matters. So, yeah, other than that, I don't got anything else, so, yeah. Thank you, Death Razor. You know, like, I was like, and this is something to meditate on. Like, somebody else's faith. Somebody, whatever, like, you know, if somebody's a Christian in your family, doesn't mean you're a Christian. You can only give account for yourself, which means on Judgment Day, when God comes back. Well, yeah, you could say that as well. Meditate. That's something else. Like, I I pray everybody seeks, like, you know, seek God. Meditate on Him. And the Word, like, get into God's Word. Pray. And I challenge y'all to do that, like, more this week. And, yeah, but I think I may do uh, a study on my own coming up. uh, On my own, I may solo it to the Book of Acts, uh... And death, to me and him could do back and forth teaching in the book of Romans coming up. If you want to, if you're up for that, Death Razor. Mm-hmm. Now, we're going to go over a few things real fast, if everybody's good with it. Okay, so, um, 
let's start off with our vote off. Okay, so services. When do you all want to have services? Is Friday night, 9.30 still good? Is that good with you, Death the Razor? Oh, okay. Uh, okay, what about... Oh, wait, we're still going. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, but I hope if you all have any questions or anything, just contact us on Discord. Also, Death Rays, let's show them real fast. Uh, here, I'll bring the mic over. Oops. Got it. Okay, so, yeah. That, that was yeah. Hey, respect, man. Respect. Respect. There we go. We good? Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you can request to join us. To thing if you want to. If you want to be an official member with the club. You can hear about our updates, our latest events. It's pretty easy. We have some nice encouraging encouraging quotes right here. Our YouTube page itself. So if you miss in person, you can join on there and watch them back to back. And yeah. Okay, and we're going to close that on our prayer here tonight. Dear Lord, thank you for this meeting. I know it was a short one, Lord, but thank you, Lord, for providing, good Father God. And Lord, we ask you that you would bless uh, everyone here tonight, Father God. Thank you for making a way for this to happen, Father God. And Lord, we ask you to bless in the future, Father. In Jesus' name we pray, Father God. Keep us all safe as we leave tonight and um, help us have a good night to rest, Father God, that we may be restrained noon for tomorrow, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So with that, that's the end of this service. We thank you all very much for joining us and watching this with us today. We hope that you'll join us sometime, either through YouTube or through here, and be blessed by our words and the words of our Lord and Savior. Peace. Peace out, right, Michael? <laughs>